the Reborn community, I saw a couple videos of people posting how they organize things. And I wanted to show you my way of organizing. Um, I am almost 25 and I still live with my parents because it's just cheaper that way. I don't have anybody that I could move in with or anything like that. And I don't have a full-time job. I um, Right now I'm just working part-time and so it's just cheaper and more practical for me to stay with my family. Plus, I like living with my family so it's nice. We're kind of tight-knit. But anyway, here is my door. Uh, most of you know I'm very creative and... So my door has to reflect upon that. We've only lived in this house for eight years. Um, before that, my sister and I shared a room for about 16 years. So, yeah, it's kind of nice to have my own room. So anyway, I have a lot of stuff, so I organize it very well. I like to keep everything completely um, in a section, like, because I have so many hobbies um, and talents and stuff like that. Sorry, talent. <laughs> It makes me sound full of myself, but anyway, I have so many hobbies that I like to keep everything organized so I can find it and it makes it much easier. So I got these on sale the other day. I actually, they, um, it was buy one, get one free. And then I got these three butterflies and I got 15% off. So I ended up paying less than the price of this one shelf, which was $25, but I only pay, I paid $24 for all that stuff. My dad helped me put it up. I put it together. I got these buckets yesterday because I needed them for on top of the shelf. I have sparkles in there. I have resin pieces that I have to finish in there. There's baggies, my duck, uh, my um, exacto knife, glues, mold maker, baggies for duct tape, and then the excess duct tape that doesn't fit on the um, spindles there. Then I have my desk. My lovely desk. This is those boxes there are full of clay, and then the items that I finished with clay that I don't know if I'm gonna put on sale or not. Um, the front part here that's messy. This is all the stuff that I'm working on. Uh, ideas that I have. Um, well, these are already in process, but this, these little tiny things are an idea that I have. Somebody got me those, gave me those pan things or pot things that I want to do. This is full of baby hairpins, which I might do a video on, that has my nostalgic stuff from childhood. I don't know why there's duct tape on there. Even my drawers are organized. Each thing, well, they're not really organized right now because I threw some stuff in there. I just have to put them in the right bins. But cabochons, I got my rhinestones here. Everything is organized. I have this thing organized. It has paints and um, my resin is in there. My only jar left. This is organized here. The drawers are breaking. This is an old vanity. I got it for free from somebody when we moved in because my parents couldn't afford to buy a bed set. I, this is all my resin molds, um, cups, spoons, stuff, anything I need for resin. Even my masks are in there. This has um, the doubles of the duct tape that I have because the little girl that I nanny gave me her duct tape. Because she doesn't do it anymore, so I put it in here because I already have them up up top. More buckets, um, string, resin pieces to do. My sewing kit is underneath the blue and pink thing. And then the pink thing has my metal pieces. These are my sticker books, which are actually organized by the theme of the sticker. And that box down there, I have to go through. It's all seed beads. Um, the lady that I am doing the painting for, she gave me a bunch of beads and so I gotta go through them and organize them. Here is my little reborn corner for Sebastian, his bed, and then I put all my dolls over here yesterday. They were in another corner. I reorganized some stuff because it was just way too much of a hassle but I figured Sebastian would like to look at all my <laughs> dolls and of course Brittany is up top trumping because she's Brittany and I'm Brittany so. This is Hamlet by the way guys. He's my theater pig. He goes with me whenever I do a show so he's kind of ripping, but um, he's Hamlet the theater pig. My nightstand, my bed, which I just got last year, a bigger bed. I had a twin size bed, and my boyfriend would come and stay for the weekend, and we'd have to stay on a twin size bed. It was terrible. Okay, my closet, which is also organized. Every The boxes up here have um, are specific to what's in it. There's another box over there that's specific. It has my... Um, Sewing items in it, games, you know. I am 
even my closet is organized. These are t-shirts. My tanks are away for the winter because you don't wear tank tops in the winter in the eastern coast. So tanks. I got long sleeves and then my shoes down here are even organized. Um, you can't really see the shoes, but these are the ones that I wear most often. This is my going away bag. It's just sitting there. My overnight bag. This side has the scrapbooking. Those are my um, knitting things. Um, the box up there is a gift from my grandfather for me that I keep them there. So here's jackets, pants, dresses. Um, I only wear dresses and really only wear dresses in the summer. So instead of shorts, I have skirts. I never wear shorts. I don't like shorts on my legs. More shoes. Um, these are my tights. Um, hats, tights, shoes. This is my theater area. It has my dancing um, foot thongs in it. And then all my character shoes. Um, there's a big makeup box back there for my theater makeup in it. Which is also organized according to what's in it. Then I have these two rubber made things. This one has my pajama, my winter pajamas, and my um, sweatshirts and sweatpants. This one has um, undergarments. And when you come out, well, this is my garbage because I'm going through and getting getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Um, all these books from college, they don't take anymore. They don't want them. And I can't sell them on um, Half.com. They've been on there for over a year. And so I'm just going to throw them away. Recycle bin. This is my laundry basket, which is harboring the garbage right now. So, And then I have my shelf here. That's Hedwig. So he gets a special spot there. Um, that's a Build-A-Bear. But my parents named him Hedwig for me because I love Harry Potter. All my movies. My 80s movies. This is my favorite movie. I love Audrey Hepburn, um, but this is my favorite of the Audrey Hepburn movies. Love, love, love. And then Roman Holidays. And then Breakfast at Tiffany's comes next. And then um, my CDs. These are photo albums, you know, yearbook stuff. Origami. Then the next shelf has more origami books on it. That's my big um, file of my photography that I've done. Um, if anybody ever wants to see that, I can show it to you. And some of them are really good, and they're, I'm actually going to try to sell them. Then I have, this is my vocal performance stuff, and some other instruments that I have there. So vocal performance. My bookshelf here. Nostalgic stuff, nostalgic stuff up there. That's my teddy, and I love Eeyore, so I have tons of, I have more Eeyores than that. I have the breathing Eeyore, just so you know. Um... Then I have my T.Y. Beanie Babies because they were quite popular growing up. Um, my Dremel, my uh, sewing machine, and then I have a big kit down there with almost all of my scrapbooking stuff in it. Um, this is just the shelf of books that I need to read. Uh, my Kindle, which has more books than I need to read on it. And my games that I have. And magic cards. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Oh, crap. I'm in my pajamas. Sorry about that. So then here I keep everything organized as well. This has hair things and they're organized to what it is. Hair ties, um, hair clips, um, these are cloth headbands, makeup, and then I have these um, sun things. They, they change colors in UV lighting. So when you go outside in the summer they change to the actual color they're supposed to be. And they say on the back what color they're supposed to be. That's more hair stuff. Of course, my straightener. My drawers are organized. Um, that's uh, sweaters, gym clothes, tank tops, and those are my p summer pajamas. And then these have my boyfriend's clothes in it. Um, hair things. Uh, this is all of my uh, sprays. I don't like to wear the same spray every day, so it's different sprays, hair, hair care, my sunglasses. Um, then I have my jewelry stuff. That's my nicer jewelry, which isn't really nice at all, but it's still nicer. Um, earrings, which I never really change my earrings, but then I have more jewelry in here. This is usually play jewelry. Well, not really play, but the cheaper stuff. Hair curlers. Um, this is Ode to Boyfriend. I don't know. This is where I keep all our ticket stubs. My wall is blank here. I only have one wall that has stuff on it. I made these. I was thinking about possibly starting to make more so I can sell them. I made that one too. Um, 
I made those for class. And can you believe it? I did not get an A on them. No, I did. I got an A. My teacher loves me. That's my cloche hat. I made that cloche hat. I love it. So here is my computer corner. Usually I'm on my computer here, but I just felt like being on my bed. Um, I'm very tight-knit with my family and friends, so I've got tons of pictures up there. I love The Wizard of Oz. There's actually another uh, a canvas of The Wizard of Oz up there somewhere, too. Um, my boyfriend and I... That was my first dog, Peppy. He was a Chihuahua, and he was a, um, he was purebred. So he his name was actually Sir Peppy Jumper because you have when they're purebred, um, or that that means that they're like royalty or something like that. So some more pictures. The printer that doesn't work that needs to go. Um, I collect keychains, guys, and these are just some of my recent ones that I've gotten in the past year. Uh, from friends and family and I'm trying to collect from all 50 states um, in my lifetime I hope that can happen and then I have some Canadian ones I have some from Ireland as well these two are from Ireland Dublin and just a regular Ireland this one's from Canada this one's from Canada I've got one from Long Beach California because my boyfriend went to e E3 is that what it's called E3 I don't know with his YouTube channel some more stuff, um, paper, then I have um, all my chargers and stuff here. This is where I keep my um, keys and stuff. That's just my old phone, I gotta take everything off of. That's a gift for somebody. This I bought for Sebastian for a quarter and it doesn't fit him right. And this somebody gave me, it doesn't fit right. And then these are all the shoes for her. Those things need to go on to my website. I just didn't put them up yet. I have my camera, my other camera. This is my professional camera that I do a lot of, um, well, not my picture taking with because I like to, for my photography stuff, I like to actually develop everything. And then we have down here just regular stuff. Everything's organized down here on the shelves. My scrapbooking scissors. Those are my trade items that I'm trying to trade people to get epoxy resin because I can't find any here anymore and that's how I make the pacifiers. This is my musical instrument corner. The piano doesn't work, so that's why it's there. Um, my parents don't want me to throw it away because they think that my dad can fix it. So um, it's just a keyboard. Somebody gave it to me for free, and it was already broken. So what can I say? Um, my Fender, which the same person gave me the Fender guitar. Um, my acoustic. Then I have my Lanakai back here, my ukulele, which I need to put back in the box because I was playing with, playing it yesterday, but I keep it in the box because it's so small. I don't want it to break. And then my Horner Travel Electric, and then there's a an, an amp down there, but the this and the amp belong, they belong to my boyfriend, but he gave them to me to use. I, I don't know how that works. This is actually his, but he, I, I don't know how that works, so the, the fridge and, um, yeah, the chocolate that I want at Chocolate Bingo. Look at all that. That chocolate that I want. So, yeah. I just have to do the under bed of mine. It is organized, but I want to go through and get rid of some stuff. Because I know there's things in there that I don't want. And, um, I'm also looking... Because before we moved, when we were little kids, my parents always told us we were going to move. So, for every year for Christmas, we always got one or two decorative items for our future bedrooms and my dad when we moved in never went and got hooks and anchors and stuff like that to put in the wall until like last year so we've lived here for eight, eight years and that's all I have on my wall right now so I'm gonna get the rest out and I'm gonna put the whole I'm gonna um mark everything on the wall make sure it's all even and then one day when my dad gets home from work I'm just gonna ask him to if I can use the drill or if he can put the hole in the wall for me and get the anchor in so I can finally get things on my wall like this makes me so happy to like wake up and look and see something on the wall not just a plain purple wall so anyway guys I hope this was kind of helpful for you so you can see how you can organize a small space um I have the smallest room in the house um it, I know it looks kind of big, but it really is small. That's why it's kind of crowded. Every corner has something on it. Um, my sister's room is really big. So she got, she got the master bedroom. My little sister got the master bedroom. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. 
and I will see you sometime soon.